Hello and welcome to Female Cricket Live. It is often said that every dark cloud has a silver lining. So to draw parallels with what happened in the India New Zealand series, we may say that the result of the series which ended in New Zealand's favor in 4-1, it could be the dark cloud from India's perspective, but that last win, win in the fifth and the final ODI of the series could be the silver lining given that the fifth ODI was the last ODI between these two sides just before the all-important ICC Women's Cricket World Cup. So to what happened in today's match? What happened in the fifth ODI between India and New Zealand? Batting first, New Zealand posted a respectable total of 251 for 9 in 50 overs, thanks to Amelia Kerr, who again scored a wonderful half-century, followed by some contributions by Lauren Down and Haley Jensen, contributing 30 runs each. For India, the spin trio of Deepti Sharma, Rajeshwari Gaikwad and Snehrana picked up two wickets apiece and Poonam Yadav and Meghna Singh chipped in with one wicket each. In reply, India managed to chase down the total with ease as they chased down the target in 46 overs, winning the match by six wickets. Thanks to Smriti Mandhana, Harmanpreet Kaur and Mithali Raj who contributed with brilliant half centuries to lead India to a victory. Uh, for New Zealand, Amelia Kerr, Fran Jonas, Hannah Rowe and Haley Jensen picked up one wicket apiece. This was about the bowling about uh, for New Zealand's side. So to talk more about the fifth ODI that was played between India and New Zealand, I have with me Sonia Dabir and Preeti Dimri. And we are also joined uh, by Mrinal Asija from The Bridge. So Sonia Dabir and Preeti Dimri are former India cricketers. And Mrinal is a social media manager at The Bridge. So I welcome all of you to Female Cricket Live. Thank you, Zuli. Thank you. So, uh, Sonia ma'am, at the toss, Mithali Raj said that this is the combination that we may go ahead with for the World Cup. So, your thoughts on this combination of India? Actually, it is a very good combination, you know, even though there were almost uh, 38 hours, 39 hours bold. Uh, spin with spin bowling this is the perfect combination uh, which india can have and which india should have but i would really like to see uh, rajeshwari bowling a bit more tighter line and length or you know to be more consistent in her uh, line and length but otherwise this is the perfect condition and apart from that uh, I, I am sure that today's batting order was uh, for, for this match only because otherwise i would like to see mithali coming at number three definitely Sonia ma'am, do you think this was like a complete team performance from India and would you, like, we can, can we call this like a perfect win for the team? Definitely, because uh, as you will see that bowlers, batters, everyone has contributed in their own way, you know. Even though Julian was wicketless, but she was, you know, she has guided Meghna Singh and she's, you know, she's the, that bowler who will definitely keep on guiding the Pacers who are going to play and even not even only the Pacers but other players as well. So I think and the most important thing Harman played for getting the runs. You know that's the I think this is the right time when Har Harman has scored those uh, 60 odd runs and uh, Smriti contributing too. So this is a perfect more than perfect win. This is the perfect start get going into the World Cup. Right. Absolutely, it is a wonderful start just ahead of the World Cup. India securing a six-wicket win over a quality side like New Zealand. So as we are talking, we have Khyati Gulani who has joined us. So for all the viewers, Khyati is a former Delhi cricketer and is currently a BCCI and Cricket Australia certified coach. So welcome to you, Khyati, on Female Cricket Live. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Great. So Khyati, as we were discussing right through the India-New Zealand series, that India is not able to get a win. But finally, India could win the match today. So your first thoughts on today's match? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they have, uh, you know, come back strong. That's what we were all, uh, you know, have been discussing that they need to uh, have a, a one win uh, before, uh, you know, getting into the World Cup. And now, by now, I think they know, like, where their, their strength uh, lies. And uh, so the best part was uh, Harman Preet's, you know, uh, uh that performance uh, which he has uh, you know yeah 63 runs in 66 balls so which was uh, really commendable the way she has you know done the comeback and of course uh, everybody's uh, wishes were with her everybody was like supporting her and i think the uh, the much needed break was there when she was like uh, sitting outside the boundary line and she was like observing everything and uh, then she came with a plan on the ground and it, it worked as well 
So yes, of course, that win uh, really helped everyone. Just uh, going forward on uh, the topic of Harman Pree's performance, uh, Kathy, ma'am, do you think she has silenced the critics now, or is there still some doubt there on her performance or or her position in the team going into the World Cup? See, it's too early to say because it it's just an inning. But yes, uh, it says that uh, she has not, you know, lost that uh, form or anything. The way because she the way she played today. and uh, it's just that it it's, it was a bad patch but yes it's too early to say anything any comment on it uh, the uh, but yes uh, i would say that uh, she has proved herself that was uh, the most important thing and uh, i mean uh, it's let's see i mean how she you know uh, plays against the teams like uh, england and australia uh, looking forward to it You know, Harman Preet Kaur really played a wonderful knock today. She scored a brilliant 63 of 66 balls, and the one six that she hit, which even Smriti Mandana appreciated and gave her a hug right in the middle of the uh, pitch. All right, so uh, Preeti, today, uh, just like Abhi Sonia Mann, ne kuch samay pehle baat ki ki 12 over fast bowlers ne dale aur 38 overs aaj spinners ne dale. So, aapke kya thoughts hai aaj ke spin department ke baare mein India ke? पहले तो पहले तो मैं बहुत बहुत बधाई हो इंडिया टीम को एंड सेकंड थिंग कि आप स्पिनर्स ने बॉल आज मैंने जब मैच देखा तो उसमें ये था कि जहाँ पर वो बॉल डाल रहे थे मतलब जहाँ पर शॉट जा रहे थे उनके या कैचेस जा रहे थे वहाँ पर फील्डर्स थे मतलब तो पहले के मैचेस में ऐसा था कि मतलब फील्डिंग प्लेसमेंट थोड़ा सा बॉलर्स के अकॉर्डिंगली या मतलब कुछ तो कुछ तो गड़बड़ था बट आज सब कुछ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल लाइन लेंथ भी उनकी अच्छी थी और हाँ ऐसा होता है कि कभी एक आध बॉलर फ्लॉप होता है या थोड़ा रन रेट मतलब उसका जो पिट उस, उसकी पिटाई हो जाती है बट अदरवाइज एज बॉलर्स अच्छी बॉल डाल देते और स्पिनर्स यस क्योंकि इंडिया की जो शान है वो स्पिनर्स ही हैं अगर देखा जाए मतलब मेनली हमारे यहाँ से स्पिनर्स ही ज़्यादा होते हैं तो आज तो बॉलिंग स्पेल सबका अच्छा रहा है Right, I think it was probably the best match as far as the bowling uh, unit is concerned of India. Um, coming back to the batting side, uh, Sonia, ma'am, you uh, talked about the batting order and how you like that this uh, new order was just for today's game and doesn't continue in the World Cup as well. We uh, we saw during the series that Deepthi Sharma was also shuffled. Her position was also shuffled in the batting order. She today played at number three, but she also played at number six earlier. So, uh, what do you think is the best suited position for her in that batting order for India? Uh, I think for Deepthi Sharma, it it should be between five and six, you know, because she is a very important player when it comes to in the, when it comes to the playing eleven, because uh, you know she can bat at any position. That's the reason she was shuffled in this series. But according to me, uh, she is kind of a player who will you know stable the innings as well as get those quick runs as well. So I think for Deepthi Sharma, she should be batting around five and six number. That should be the ideal position for her because. You know, after that, uh, I won't say the tail enders, but the bowling, uh, bowling uh, bowlers come and bat. So you know, there should be someone who will be you know with them and setting and getting the scores uh, and rotating the strike as well. So Deepthi Sharma should, I think, according to me, should bat at number five or six. So uh, just uh, taking this question ahead, Kathy, if you could uh, throw some light that Deepthi Sharma batted at number three today. Usually Yastika Bhatia does that for India in a short stint of ODI career, of course. But Harman Preet Kaur came in at number four and she scored runs. So, do you think going into the World Cup, Harman Preet Kaur is slated at number four position? See, today yes, it worked. Uh, but uh, we should not forget that uh, there were a lot of catches also. The New Zealand team dropped like four to five catches were there. But I mean, still, I'm not saying that she didn't know she didn't uh, have a you know good day. But yes, she played really well. But uh, yeah, I mean, having said that, uh, you know, Mithali also comes on that, uh, you know, same number. But we cannot, you know, change everything for one player. But if it works, the combination works for the team. It's very good. Like today, it worked. But they were uh, uh, so going into the World Cup. Everybody will, you know, come very, very prepared. They'll come with their best combinations and their strengths. Uh, they'll work on their strengths. And uh, so let's see. I mean, what 
this uh, think tank is uh, planning about this after seeing because this is again a uh, you know hit and try thing and it worked and uh, somehow they will you know again sit back and they need to talk to other backers also whose you know order they have changed today if they are comfortable then it's okay i mean they can you know go with that but if they are not uh, really comfortable then i'm sure that uh, harman preet can see the the kind of a batsman she is she can play at any order it's not that she, uh, she was you know struggling with the, because of that order it was just that she was going through a bad patch but the batters like mithali and dipti they have their you know some restrictions also and limitations as well so let's see i mean what they think and uh, uh, we'll get to know in the first match how they are you know uh, coming as right um uh, talk about smriti mandana she also played a very good knock today um so preeti ma'am aapko uh, kya lagta hai jo ek aaj unki knock thi uh, ye kya sirf unke liye nahi par puri team ke confidence ke liye ek bahut hi achhi knock thi kyunki uh, just after coming out of the mq she has got into the groove so quickly and bahut jaldi unhone run score uh, karna start kar diya even though pichle match mein itna bada score nahi tha unka par wo ball acche se time kar rahi thi तो uh, क्या एक पूरी टीम के कॉन्फिडेंस के लिए बहुत अच्छी बात है गोइंग इनटू द वर्ल्ड कप ऑफ कोर्स ये बहुत अच्छी बात है इंडिया टीम के लिए हमारे लिए ऐसा ऐसा मतलब लोग एक्सपेक्ट कर कर रहे थे कि आज आज कितना बनाएंगे आज मतलब उनके बैट से कितने शॉट आज निकलने वाले हैं और एमएक्यू से जब बाहर आए थे ऑफ कोर्स जब आप इतना आप प्रैक्टिस में नहीं होते हैं तो लोगों के तो थॉट्स होते हैं बट आज जो उन्होंने बल्लेबाजी करी है बहुत ही अच्छी और बहुत ही कॉन्फिडेंट मतलब जो उनकी बैटिंग में एक जो आ, समझदारी थी और आ, एक जो पेशेंस था उन्होंने रैश शॉट्स खेलने अवॉइड किए और हाँ कुछ एक एक दो कैचेस मिस हुए बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट उनकी बैटिंग बहुत ही अच्छी थी विच विल रियली गोइंग टू हेल्प अस इन इन वर्ल्ड कप Uh, so Sonia ma'am I remember that uh, in one of our chats I think uh, you said that Smriti Mandana had played under you or maybe when you were senior she was a junior to you so according to you what is that one thing that differentiates Smriti Mandana from rest of the opening batters in the world I think uh, the timing with which she bats her bat flow which is which has changed and which has she, but she has developed tremendously and the hard work i mean i remember recently i had met her coach uh, anand tambekar and he was like the uh, we were just discussing about how she practices back home and he also was like she she practices and she is so hard working that there are not many boys also you know who works hard like her so she has some own uh, ways of practicing so definitely she is she is that her timing and the bat flow and the way she uh, implements her uh, practice sessions into the match the way she reads the game is just amazing i think what about the other opener shafali verma is her uh, form a little bit of a concern going into the world cup she had one good innings but um, the way she has been getting out to the short ball and the shots she has been playing is that a little bit of concern and can we see uh, a different opening pair in some of the matches in the world cup i think uh, what i have observed of shefali that uh, she is being a bit conscious when she is batting especially in the one days so the way she bats in the t20s i think she should just continue doing that in the one days as well and yeah i would like to see megana also coming in <laughs> definitely with smriti some day or the other let us see how that pans out going into the world cup preeti agar abhi hum thodi bowling ki baat kare batting ki humne kafi baat kar li abhi but bowling ki baat kare unhone aaj bahut badhiya kaam kiya hai new zealand ko 250 run utna hi restrict kar paye but uh, jo death overs the last ke jo 5 6 overs the wo spinners ne bowling ki to aapke hisab se death overs mein spinners ka kya game plan hona chahiye डेथ ओवर तक जो भी बैट्समैन होता है वो सेट हो चुका होता है उसका जो आई साइड आई साइड है वो बहुत अच्छे से बॉल उसको अगर अगर पहले से बैटमैन खेल रहा है तो उसका उसको बॉल फुटबॉल की तरह दिखता है तो आप अगर पेसर्स को लगाएंगे तो पेसर्स के लिए एजेस निकलना बहुत इजी इजी होता है और फ्लो के साथ आप आसानी से मार देते हैं 
और जो स्पिनर्स हैं उनका ये रोल है कि आपको उनको हाथ खोलने का मौका नहीं देना है अगर आप उनको बिल्कुल हाथ खोल के कट मारने का या पुल मारने का बॉल देंगे तो ऑफकोर्स ज़्यादा उधर पिटाई होती है उस एरिए में और ये है कि बहुत उनको फ्लाइट भी नहीं देना है जो लास्ट के ओवर्स होते हैं उसमें हमें कम से कम उनके मतलब उनको बिल्कुल कहते हैं बहुत हवा में भी नहीं और बहुत बाहर भी नहीं स्टम्प में बॉल डालनी उनको मतलब उसमें आप देखें कि मतलब कहाँ पर आप लैंड कराते हैं बॉल को तो बहुत रिस्ट्रिक्ट होकर डालना होगा लास्ट के ओवर्स को स्पिनर्स को and uh, taking it from here uh, talking about uh, bowling and uh, bowling in the uh, bowling wicket to wicket so uh, kathi ma'am do you think new zealand bowlers got a little complacent today in that respect they did miss their line and lens and that helped uh, the indian batters yeah i mean uh, these new new zealand players they you know look a little bit on the back foot today they were a little a bit you know relaxed because they won the uh you know uh, series almost and so they were like uh, pretty they were giving chances to everyone and uh, so the other that bowler the uh, curve was also not there so i mean they they were like they uh, they were also trying their combinations and they were like little relaxed to get you know get into the uh, world cup so they said okay, okay i mean uh, even there's there's nothing to lose but yes uh, having said that our players also uh, you know showed a very good uh, uh, performance today we can't ignore that so they gave uh, like uh, the performance of harman preet which is uh, was really needed so she she also you know uh, chip in and then smriti mandana which was also not there in the you know uh, initial matches so of course that that uh, that is also counted so all these things really work for well for india today and uh, we can all, we should not look for the you know always like negative things but the positive part was like india played really well today so not to say like uh, not to you know look for the uh you know things like uh, why uh, like new zealand was on the back foot or anything but yes they looked relaxed i would say but somehow that chance was taken by indian team and it was really really needed to you know uh, getting into the world cup it was that kind of a thing was really required and see everybody was like uh, uh, happy today and now they can you know have a very good sleep uh, uh, today so uh, let's see i mean how they you know uh, come come in the world cup now and with what kind of plans by now i'm sure that everybody have got their feedbacks and uh, everybody is like working on the best uh, you know plans now absolutely khati i'm sure that the indian team and of course all the indian fans are going to have a good night sleep today because just like me i am sure all of you woke up early to catch all the live action between india and new zealand starting at 3:30 am ist all right so uh, sonia ma'am the series is done and dusted new zealand have won the odi series 4-1 they have also won the one of t20i but now what are the key takeaways for both the sides for both india and new zealand from this series uh, i think uh, from new zealand point of uh, view return of amelia kerr definitely is the biggest thing uh i would i was very impressed with the way uh, frankie mccarbold and the way lauren down was uh, hitting the bowlers you know those two players i think uh, were one of those positive things uh, i'm sure which new zealand would be looking at suzy bits uh, century definitely and from india's point of view definitely harman coming back into the runs smriti getting those runs and uh to be honest you know even though we have lost the four odis and the t20 but those odis definitely had lot of positives and going ending the series with a win all these contributions from it was not that uh, only one of the batters or one of the bowlers were contributing it was you know every day we had a new performer except mithali was there in all the odis but you know uh, many of the players contributed in it like every day we had a new performer so this is a very positive thing going into the world cup and with today's combination definitely uh, the team is more confident and uh, approaching the world cup Right. Uh, you talked about Amelia Kerr. Uh, she has been a standout performer this series, and she has been excellent uh, in all the three departments: batting, bowling, and fielding as well. She took a lot of catches uh, earlier on in the series. So, um, how big uh, a 
how big an asset will she be for New Zealand uh, in the World Cup? And can she be the the player of the tournament or at least the one of the biggest performers in the World Cup across all teams? I think yeah, definitely she is. You know, she is in that race of being the uh, one of the players who is being performed consistently because she is in this series. We have seen how she's taken a break and come back so strongly for New Zealand. It was almost that uh, New Zealand was dependent on her in every match. Uh, she also like Deepthi Sharma batted at different positions. She was coming and taking wickets, scoring runs. She was everywhere. So you no, know, I think. That uh, that's the thing which definitely she will be confident of, and I'm sure even New Zealand cricket will be confident of. So she is in that uh, race uh, for the women of the tournament for sure. Yes, and uh, today India unfortunately broke her record that whenever she goes past fifty runs, New Zealand end up on the winning side. But India have broken that record. Though she went past fifty runs today, New Zealand ended on the losing side. राइट तो प्रीति अभी हमारे ये सीरीज तो खत्म हो गई है इंडिया ने फाइनली एक विन ले ली बट अभी ये कैसा कॉन्फिडेंस और मोमेंटम लेके जाएंगे वर्ल्ड कप में क्योंकि अभी तीन दिन बाद इंडिया वार्म अप मैच खेलेगा साउथ अफ्रीका के अगेंस्ट ऑफ कोर्स वर्ल्ड कप का ही वार्म अप मैच होगा ये तो कैसा कॉन्फिडेंस और मोमेंटम होगा अभी चेंजिंग रूम में मेरा तो मानना है बहुत खुश होंगे बिकॉज कुछ जो जो बैट्समैन ने अभी परफॉर्मेंस किया है हरमनप्रीत है स्मृति मंदाना है और अफकोर्स मिथाली तो फॉर एवर ग्रीन है तो इन लोगों की जो परफॉर्मेंस हैं वो वर्ल्ड कप में बहुत अभी जो प्रैक्टिस मैम मैचेस हैं इसमें ऑफकोर्स उनको बहुत कॉन्फिडेंस रहेगा टीम को भी कि एक सपोर्ट एक जो हमारे प्लेयर्स हैं वो अगर अच्छा स्कोर देंगे तो तो बॉलर्स के लिए भी एक अच्छा फाइटिंग मैच होता है तो कॉन्फिडेंस तो मुझे लगता है कोई कमी नहीं आनी चाहिए बहुत अच्छा रहेगा आज सब ने अच्छा खेला है और एक आध दिन किसी का भी फ्लॉप जाता है तो आज उन्होंने ए, 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 आज इंडिया टीम पे भी कोई प्रेशर इतना था नहीं तो आज सब लोगों ने बहुत नेचुरल अपना गेम खे खेला है और कॉलिंग मतलब बैटिंग में बॉलिंग में सभी में बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस किया है तो ऑफ कोर्स आई एम डैम श्योर कि वो लोग आगे भी अच्छा खेलेंगे राइट मिथाली राज हैज बीन अ कंसिस्टेंट परफॉर्मर एट Uh, with a bat for india this series has scored consistently um khati ma'am who do you think has been that one bowler who you'd say was the best bowler for india the most consistent or if not consistent was the was the one who really shone with the ball for india see there were uh, like performances in bits and pieces i would say everybody was like uh, bowling Uh, to uh, uh, they were trying to you know bowl well but then yeah we lost the matches because of the bowling we, everybody knows that so yeah the, uh, bowling and fielding i would say but yes uh, the bowlers uh, these uh, i mean renuka also bowled really well so we cannot say that there was one very good bowler who really uh, uh, was a you know match winner but uh, seeing the you know performances in these last five matches i would say that uh poonam yadav also bowled well raj uh, this rajeshwari uh, that gaikwad is also really well she bowled well but for me julan will be the best one because i i'm sure that when she'll be on the uh, you know world cup stage and uh, she will totally look different and she will carry all her you know uh, past experiences and uh, the way she bowls and the uh, like uh, the interviews what i have seen like articles also from the different players from different countries they have been saying that we we feel scared when uh, uh, this uh, julan takes the ball in hand so for me the pick of the baller will be julan always but here we have you know used uh, most of the spinners but uh, see seeing the conditions of new zealand i would say that there should be three uh, paces uh, in first 11 but uh, so as per that julan will be the pick for me okay that julan goswami will be playing her fifth one day world cup after having been in the finals two times in 2005 and 2017 so let us hope that this world cup which is probably the swan song for her india is able to lift the trophy and of course dedicated to mithali raj and julan goswami all right so uh, sonia ma'am today it was announced from the icc that Uh, going into the World Cup, if need be, because of the rising COVID cases, that they could have nine players aside in a team, 
and two substitutes who will be non batting and non bowling of course so how do you think if that happens how will the team cope with this nine players aside affair actually this is going to be very difficult and uh, there's going to be lot of thinking for the coaching staff i'm sure because you know who is going to do that non batting and non bowling is going to be a big thing for each and every team so definitely you know these are the things which we are not used to and because of this covid situation we have to go through all these things and i'm sure um, after this announcement now the now each and every team must have started uh, again anal analyzing what, how the situation will be what we will be doing in this situation but yeah i'm sure it's going to be a bit difficult for each and every team to you know uh, go through this if unfortunately if this comes into picture right uh, another thing that there is an, a guideline that teams have a final chance to uh, shuffle between their squads get one of the reserve players into the uh, main side so sonia ma'am said that she would like to see meghna uh, coming in and opening at uh, some time so preeti ma'am aapko lagta hai ki india ko koi changes karne chahiye ab ye final deadline tomorrow hai to usse pehle koi reserve player main squad mein laye aur agar kisi ko la rahe to main squad mein se kis kis player ko uh, bahar chhodna chahiye बाहर का तो आ, मुझे नहीं लगता मुझे बोलना चाहिए बट हाँ एस में ना अंदर आनी चाहिए क्योंकि उसने परफॉर्म किया है और आ, उसकी बैटिंग में जो मैंने कॉन्फिडेंस देखा है एक फ्लो देखा है एज अ न्यू बैट मतलब उसके फेस पे बिल्कुल भी फियर नहीं था कि हाँ मैं मतलब मैं मैं न्यूजीलैंड के अगेंस्ट खेल रही हूँ और आ, बहुत ही कॉन्फिडेंस शॉर्ट थे उसके नो डाउट तो अफकोर्स आई एम इन फेवर ऑफ मेघना एस मेघना फॉर श्योर all right so uh, according to preeti maybe s meghna could be considered for the squad right now she is in the reserves alongside simran dil bahadur and ekta bisht so let us see what happens tomorrow if india is able to make any changes or they stick to the original 15 member squad for the world cup all right so as you are talking we are getting uh, many questions so maybe we can take them one by one Okay, so Abhishek Naik is asking. I feel Pooja Vastrakar finds a place in the team as she is an all-rounder. Uh, Khyati, if you can take this up. Sure, I mean she has shown a few perf uh, good performances with bat or bowl uh, in the past, but in this series we could not see, uh, you know, playing. Uh, I mean, showing any performance with the bat. But yes, we are also, you know, uh, wanting her to show uh, an all-round performance because she is a very good all-rounder. She has shown. Uh, she has, you know, won. lot of matches also for india and in the domestic also she has shown with the bat as well along with the ball so but uh, yes and she's a very good uh, you know fielder also in the outfield we are also looking forward for that let's see even how she you know bounces back in the coming matches so hope so she i mean the what are the ex she meets the expectations of everyone that will be a you know plus and a point and an added advantage for the team for sure let us see if uh, pooja vastrakar gets a go in the playing 11 of india all right can we have the second question okay uh, adinath nagre is asking i think snehrana can be used as number 3 as a floater uh, sonia ma'am if you could take this up uh i don't think there is any need as of now what we've seen uh, in the past odi series the current odi series or even in england or australia i don't think uh, there is any need for snare runner to come at number 3 no as they changed today deepthi coming in at number 3 that was uh, pretty good enough uh, because snare runner is kind of a player uh, who is you know suited for that 6 and 7 number position and that situation as well even though she may be batting in the domestic circuit a bit up uh, up the order but uh, right now i don't think there is any need for her to get it to that number 3 position all right okay can we take the next question okay abhishek naik is asking do you feel this is the best side india selected uh, preeti aapko kya lagta hai aaj ki side best thi jo aaj india ne select ki thi मुझे लगता है थी क्योंकि जब आप मैच जीतते हैं तो उसमें आप ज़्यादा जा, जा, कमियां नहीं निकाल पाते हैं और जब हम जब जब मैच हारते हैं तो ऑफकोर्स हम लोग हम हमको सबकी गलतियां बहुत ज़्यादा खुल खुल के देखते हैं तो अभी कोई चेंजेस नहीं होना चाहिए हाल फिलहाल अभी आज ये टीम का जो कॉन्फिडेंस है ऑफकोर्स ये अच्छा है एंड नो नीड टू चेंज फॉर फॉर द मैचेज 
absolutely so just to reiterate that mithali raj at the toss early in the day she said that this is the combination that they'll be going ahead in the upcoming women's world cup all right so india won the fifth and the final odi against new zealand they lost the series 1-4 but they take this win ahead of the world cup so it was amazing chatting with all of you thank you sonia ma'am preeti and khyati for your time and thank you mrinal for joining us and it was wonderful talking to you about the fifth and the final odi between india and new zealand thank you to all the viewers and fans for watching this thank you thank, thank you. you thank you all of us